Have you ever encountered a frustrating null pointer exception while coding in Java? It can really throw a wrench in your workflow, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the world of Java streams and troubleshooting that pesky null pointer exception during reduce operations. I totally get it. You're not alone in facing this issue. Many developers have stumbled upon this exact problem when working with Java 8 streams. It can be confusing, especially when you're trying to reduce a stream with null values. Let's tackle this together. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. A user recently encountered a null pointer exception while using a reduce operation on a stream of integers that included null values. They shared their code and asked, why is this happening? Sound familiar? Let's dig into this and find a solution. So, what could be causing this null pointer exception? The issue arises because the reduce operation is trying to apply a binary operator that doesn't handle null values correctly. We'll break it down step by step so you can understand what's going on. And don't go anywhere. I've got a crucial tip at the end that will help you avoid this issue in the future. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. To address the null pointer exception in the reduce operation, the user should first understand the behavior of the reduce method when dealing with null values. The user can modify the get method in the reducing sync class. Next, the user should change the get method to handle null states properly. This involves adding a condition to check if the state is null before returning it as an optional. After making this change, the user should test the reduce operation again with the same test cases. This will help confirm that the null pointer exception no longer occurs. Finally, the user can also consider using the filter method to avoid null values before performing the reduce operation. This is an alternative approach that can prevent the exception. Fun fact, did you know that null pointer exceptions are one of the most common exceptions in Java? It's like the Java equivalent of stepping on a Lego, painful and often unexpected. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution suggests modifying the accumulator to work with optional instead of null. This way, you can avoid null pointer exceptions. The user recommends wrapping elements in optional before reducing and unwrapping the result afterward. Here's the tip I promised. Always check for null values before performing operations on streams. This simple habit can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You've learned how to troubleshoot and fix that null pointer exception in your Java streams. Remember, handling null values is crucial for smooth coding. If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button for more tips, and don't miss our next video where we tackle more Java challenges.